Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we're going to be providing a procedure for how to clean and protect your steering wheel. And the procedure will also be relevant to gear knobs and handbrakes and the gaiters in your car. The key thing in the video is we're going to tell you how to avoid the dreaded triple S. And that is the sticky steering wheel syndrome. yourself up giant get going one two three okay welcome back to the forensics detailing channel a video with a procedure on how to clean your steering wheel whether it be real leather I don't know if you get many of those bonded leather and, and Ram from color lock told me it's like a dagger through my heart that my steering wheel was most likely bonded leather he was 99% sure which is kind of you know the synthetic layer over the top still looks great um, so there we go it doesn't really matter too much what it is this will work on vinyl steering wheels the ones that you can feel are a bit more rubbery and have the kind of heavier embossed pattern on them it will clean it and very importantly it will get the grease off of it and we'll go into detail on that later on so you don't get the sticky sticky steering wheel at the end and it will protect it so it's a good comprehensive guide on how to do this properly and I realized from shooting it I did not know how to do it properly before so it's been useful for me as well let's go through all the equipment and products that you need to follow this procedure first up quite simply a towel um, to cover around the steering wheel so you don't splatter the, the cockpit and all, all those other components near where you're scrubbing with kind of product. So that's important. I've got a large waffle weave. Uh, any large clean towel will do. It doesn't have to be microfiber or anything. It, you know, it's just purely there to, to, to protect the other surfaces. You are going to need microfiber cloths, okay? Nice terry cloths, good quality, maybe 70-30 ones, short nap, low GSM. Well, I am using the Color Lock viscose cloths that contain real kind of cotton. Um, I was since used since um, doing the leather cleaning video and using these kind of for the first time. I was looking at them thinking that they're, they're not going to be as absorbent as microfiber cloths because they don't have the nice fluffy pile on them. So then maybe they're not going to be as good. But just from using them, you're not dealing with tons of like product you're not scrubbing things you're not soaking up massive layers of films of products you don't need an ultra absorbent cloth and these just seem to work really really well and you can they're cheap and when you've got your way through them you don't have to throw them away you can sling them in the washing machine and wash them like you would microfiber at 40 degrees with a non-bio and use them again so i'm liking these viscose cloths the more and more i use them they're very very suitable for cleaning leather and working on leather you are going to need a leather cleaning brush, and I'm now using the Color Lock brush. I had a, I had another one that I've been using for years that was a leather cleaning brush, about twice the price, and the bristles on it are way too long. Um, so it just makes it a little bit, you know, it's just shorter bristles, makes it a bit easier to work closer and more accurately. And so the Color Lock brush, which you'll see in many guises around because they sell it to other brands and stuff. Is cheap as chips I think it's uh, $3.95 and it's just a little bit better I'm also using a very soft brush uh, bristled toothbrush okay I don't know if that's a faux pas or not but it can just access the things that a bigger brush can't um, if you are going to get a toothbrush don't get one of those expensive ones with the really thick bristles on them just get a I found a pack of these really cheap ones that are very soft and whenever you're using brushes cleaning the steering wheels. The thing you're kind of worried about is scrubbing on the, the sort of cotton threads of the stitching too, too aggressively. So as long as you go careful with a soft brush, you know, you're gonna be, you're gonna be fine. So toothbrush and the Color Lock um, leather cleaning brush. Now the chemical products, we have the Color Lock mild leather cleaner and the Color Lock strong leather cleaner. You can use either of those depending on the level of soiling. In this video, I'm using the mild leather cleaner because that's appropriate. It's generally going to be more appropriate for steering wheels. 
we are also using a leather cleaning spirit. So this is a solvent based cleaner as opposed to a water based cleaner. We will talk about that later on and we're going to be using the leather shield which is the um, thing which prevents friction damage and creates the barrier um, on the surface. Um, you can use these cleaning sponges but I found the viscose cloths fine. Um, and that is all of the equipment you need. Very quickly, the first thing you do is get into your car. Um, I um, engage the uh, ignition or whatever it's called. I don't start the car, but I just take off the steering wheel lock so I can rotate the steering wheel and access the wheel better than trying to get at certain points where the steering wheel's locked. That's important. Don't start the car up and do this with the car running. You know, I'd end up accidentally slipping and flooring the accelerator in first gear or something going straight through the wall and ending up in the uh, neighbor's swimming pool so you don't want any horrific accidents so don't clean the steering wheel with your engine running Next thing is you start cleaning, okay? It's very simple, isn't it? You don't have to go into too much detail with cleaning, but you use a combination, you use the mild leather cleaner or the strong leather cleaner if you've got heavier soiling with the viscose cloths. You apply the, the cleaner to the cloth and then work it around the entire surface of the steering wheel and you use the brushes to get into all the little areas where the, um, where the stitching is and the areas that you can't get in with the cloths. If you have an embossed pattern or grain you know, a tread almost, if, if you like, on your steering wheel, then the brushes are more effective at getting in there and getting into the pits of that and, and getting the soiling out. So, you know, th that is self-explanatory. You'll go around with the solution, clean it, and, and you know, do it in quarters and do it carefully and slowly. The whole procedure will take you five minutes. If you rush, you can do it in two and a half, but you'll end up slinging stuff everywhere and it won't be as effective. So take your time, but the procedure should take about five minutes, maybe a little bit more. Once you have cleaned that steering wheel, take off any of that, that, that cleaner product with a separate clean viscose or microfiber cloth. Go again if you need to, if there's areas where there's still soiling you haven't spotted. Okay, that soiling is, is always embedded in there, okay, from years sometimes of, of not being clean. So the cleaning part is very important. When you're doing any brush work in that cockpit, if you're pushing towards the, the towel rather than towards you, then most of the liquid that does flick off of the brushes will go towards the um, will go towards the towel. You can work just gently in small circular motions as well. Just avoid scrubbing vigorously in random directions or else you're gonna start slinging stuff everywhere. It's kind of common sense. The next step, okay, after you've done the basic cleaning, which will get rid of the dirt and the kind of soiling, this is the key thing about this video, and I didn't know this. Um, I'd, lo I'd love to take credit for this. I wish I'd have known this. It'd have given me so much kudos, but I'd never known this. And I, for 20 years, I've been cleaning my steering wheel. When I finish, it looks half clean, but still got quite a lot of shine on it. And it's still, it feels really greasy and sticky after you clean it. And I asked Ram about that, and, and he said, basically, the reason is water-based leather cleaners cannot kind of effectively dissolve grease and kind of silicons and stuff from what's been on there. So when you clean them with water-based, you get some of the soiling out, but you do not break down the grease enough. So you need to use a solvent cleaner, um, which will break that grease down. So it's very simple. You just apply a little bit of the solvent cleaner to your, to your viscose cloth. And I had that in one hand, okay? And in the other hand, I had a clean cloth and I would just roll it around the steering wheel and grip it. And you can see the solvent covering the steering wheel and it, it vaporizes or flashes quite quickly. So then with the other hand, as it's gone on, you just let it kind of, you know, sit there for a brief second and then you go back over and then you pick it all up and you just repeat that for, for about a minute, going around the steering wheel and doing it again, very lightly, you know, don't, don't need to go mad with the pressure. And what that does is it just dissolves down the grease 
and you keep going and the shine on the steering wheel from all those greases that are kind of embedded in there slowly disappear and as the shine disappears you, you, you're getting there um, just do one more kind of pass and then you're done with the cleaning part and the difference that you'll notice is now you're at a stage where you've got more of an original finish on your car because you've taken all of the grease off of the car and the thing that I have really noticed, and I'm a little bit happy about, that's how sad I am, is that the steering wheel isn't sticky and greasy like it always is after I've been cleaning the wheels for the last kind of 20 years the wrong way. So I was really happy about that because I can see it working. So the solvent cleaner is effective for removing um, greases, wax and silicones. It even says it on the label. F final step, once you've done all the cleaning, which is typically two cloths, one to work that product and you know, work the dirt and pick up some of the dirt and one to come back over and get the product and the dirt back off. This particular step, you just use one viscose cloth or microfiber cloth ideally. Could use a sponge, but I'd say use a cloth. Just works fine. Apply the product to the cloth, just a small amount, and work a film with the product over the steering wheel or gear knob and handbrake gator. One important thing to say is this is creating a barrier, okay, to, to reduce friction. It is not going to make your steering wheel or kind of handbrake or, or gear knob all slippy and slidey. The very opposite, this is the first time that I've ever done a procedure to clean my steering wheel where the steering wheel doesn't feel all kind of slimy and greasy and, and is still glossy at the end. It, you know, when you hold it, you notice it feel better. Um, straight away so that's the one thing I want to get kind of cross in this video because it's the, the main thing I've noticed so that's important the barrier is not going to um, make your components all like slidey in your hands that is the steering wheel procedure complete the main thoughts on it guys as I've said in this video is it's, it's probably going to actually get your steering wheel grease free um, which water-based cleaners, doesn't matter if it's a color lock one, doesn't matter if it's the JML 2001, water-based cleaners are not effective at removing grease. And that's why these specialist kind of companies know what products work and have, have the ranges. You know, I've always just used other leather cleaners from, from brands that just tend to sell you a, a leather cleaner that's water-based. Um, so I didn't really know that you were supposed to use solvent based cleaners to, to, to solve this problem. So that's really good and, and honestly it makes a big difference. So that's the most important thing about this video. Um, you know the biggest problem with steering wheels is, is they build up that grease which makes them really shiny as well. So another thing you, you notice if you use this procedure is the level of gloss from grease on your steering wheel should be a lot less and that will make the steering wheel look more like it how it was intended to, to look. Thank you very much for watching this video on the steering wheel cleaning procedure. Ram is coming over I think in a few weeks time, Ram from Colour Lock and he's going to be showing me how to refinish and repair kind of tears and cuts in leather seats and refinish them, repaint them, you know mix up all the paints and that so that's way beyond what I would have attempted so I'm really interested to watch and learn to the stage where I feel like if I've got a leather seat that's worn out I could phone colour lock up and get the paints all mixed up ready to, for the colour for me with all the ingredients so that it you know you don't have to top it yourself the product they can give you I can't remember what they called it there was a name for it but it contains all of the, the like bonding agents on the top the binders and stuff so that you don't get the colour transfer so I could phone them up get the get the colour from them and then follow this procedure and repair my leather seats. So I'm really looking forward to that because I've had to use leather specialists in the past to do this for me and uh, it costs a fair old amount of money and I like doing it. So I'm, I'm, I want to learn this so it will give me another string to my bow. So that's coming up on the channel soon guys. Thank you very much for uh, watching. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Don't sneak up on me when I'm filming. It's like a bloody episode of The Walking Dead. Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we're going to be... <laughs>